Hi and welcome back to my channel after a while. I have a camera now. The problem right now is what I wanted is for you to see my whole outfit because you're supposed to see it. I'm very proud of this one. The problem is I have a new camera. I have like a really good one for the first time in my life, but I didn't know. <laughs> They don't send you the right lens with it, so I bought a random lens and uh, it's not the right type at all. We're gonna film today with this and I hope when I post my other videos I will have other lenses. Today we're filming two videos because the two are about them. At first I wanted to come back to YouTube with another videos, but then I learned that, you know, Femme is coming to France on the 6th, yeah, 16th of July and for the first time ever and I'm going to see them. So, you know, I was like, I want to post my videos about them before I go see them. Let's talk about the evolution of a concept. So in previous videos, I've already talked about the star system how our image is always at least a little bit fake and also how to create your own image. And today I wanted to talk about the idea of a concept and how to evolve with it. And as an example, I decided to take the case of Femme, which is a Japanese duo. They make great music. I love them. But first, this idea of a concept and why I'm talking about it in relation to public images. A concept can be many things, like something specific for a music video or a show, and it can also be running through all the music videos of an artist, tying them together. But it can also overlap with reality, as it's not something that affects only the fiction of the music video, but the public image of the artist too. Depending on how rigid and developed the concept is, it will have more or less impact on the reality of the artist. And it can be simply a developed style or a complex storyline where the artist is a character and clearly not themselves. So there are obviously pros and cons to having your concept be part of your reality, like in promotion, interviews, etc. as an artist. On the bright side, you're selling a story way bigger than just the album. As spectator, we can really immerse ourselves in the storyline we are given. And it's one developed in a transmediatic way, which means we don't get just one type of content, right? On the opposite side, a concept, and even more a strictly developed one, can become a trap for the artist. Because as human beings and as artists, we evolve. Our taste may change what we want to share with the world and what we want to do with our art too. And then getting out of the concept can be very complicated because all the fame we got until then is based on the concept. And if we ditch it completely, most people will not follow us into our new journey. It's not always the case, but it happens pretty often. So it can be a pretty stressful situation. But then some artists manage to evolve their concept to meet their new needs and the new things they want to do without completely ditching it. So let's start talking about Femme, which stands for Far East Mansion Mannequin. So I'm gonna say mannequin. I think in English you say mannequins. I'm not even sure. But mannequin is a French word, okay. So I'm going to pronounce it the right way. Mannequin. They are a Japanese duo created in 2013. And there are mannequin working for a secret agency trying to save other mannequin around the world. So both mannequin are different types, okay? Riri is a combat mannequin, while Lula is more the caretaker type. She actually heals wounded mannequin. And you know, like all secret agents, they also have both an agent uh, um, assigned to them. I th one of them is Honeybee and the other one is... I forgot. I didn't write it in my text, okay? <laughs> There's more to the story, but you get it, they're not humans. And the story doesn't stop at music videos. In shows and interviews, we don't get to see the two persons behind the concept and the storyline. We also get Riri and Lula. They don't speak in interviews on TV or YouTube, and they hold signs where it's written, whatever they want to say. And sometimes they also use different gestures to explain what they want to say, what they mean. And where they are in public or doing shows, they 
walk in a very kind of robotic way because obviously they are not as flexible as humans. Sometimes they also get carried on and off stage by the staff. So this is a very immersive concept. The two members never, never break character. And it was like that for a few years. Also, an important point, they give themselves what they need to fulfill this immersive concept. They often work with new technologies, holograms, etc. Which is very clearly necessary for their concept to work. Without all of this, it will fall flat and we would see right through it. Please remember this exact point for next time when we will be talking about Espa and their concept because now fast forward to the very end of 2020 and we get Femme 2.0. Our two main characters Riri and Lula got an update and with that their movements are less robotic even though they still move like mannequin because they're still learning, okay? They also got some facial expression now, which we can see in their more recent music videos. I started writing the script in April 2022, and while I was working on it, Femme got another update, a big one. They can now speak. Just a few words, right? But it's still major considering they couldn't speak before. So you can see how they managed to evolve naturally the concept while also allowing them to create new things. Usually you see artists with a concept like that trying to evolve it and crashing, not always but very often. And here it's quite the opposite. I'm not in the head of the members like the actual real person behind the characters. So I don't know if, you know, maybe at some point they started to feel a little bit trapped in their concept, but I think it's easy to understand that with the concept as strict as Femmes 1, after a few years you may want to be able to at least, you know, speak a few words. It's very interesting to see how they kept the best of both worlds, aka their concept and, you know, what drew fans like me to them while also allowing for their new needs as artists to be met and i'm sure in the future more updates will allow them to still fulfill their new needs as artists as you know growing person without completely destroying the concept that's what i wanted to say about fam uh, concept and how they evolved it because you know yeah, like I said, it's a very strict one and it's a very immersive one. So it's not just the music video, it's, you know, it's everything. Every time we see them, they are in characters, which is, I find that so impressive and fascinating. I really enjoy seeing how they're really using every single part of their concept to make it evolve naturally. Like, obviously, they are main count, so, you know, they are getting updates and the, this idea of update, it's so great and it works so well for their concept because it really allows them to do new things while also, you know, keeping it straight with the storyline. I'm thinking of wearing this for the concert in Paris. I love wearing like specific outfits uh, for concerts. I remember when I went to see Bond Maid a few years ago, I dressed not specifically as maid, but my outfit was inspired by it, like the colors and all. I mean, it was black and white, obviously, but you, you, you get what I mean, you know, I dressed for the theme because Bond Maid and Femme both have like very specific concept. Like, maybe I should talk about Bond Maid too. But anyway, I went to the concert dressed like that and I was the only one dressed for the theme and I was I remember I was so so sad I think it's gonna be going to be the same for femme like if you're French and you're going to see femme and you're watching this video it's already a lot of if but if it's the case text me <laughs> and <laughs> please let's all dressed as like outfit inspired by femme okay bye